This is in essence a generation one device. It consists of a battery unit, in this case very small, and what we call a cartomizer, in which there is a heating coil and a fluid reservoir. This particular one holds 0.7 of a milliliter of a liquid. The good things and the bad things, very, very easy to put together. Very, very much like a cigarette in form factor and the weight, in fact, is not a great deal more. That makes it appealing to those who are current smokers and who might be looking to switch. In terms of usability for someone who has already made the switch, these neither last long enough nor satisfy, even with 45 milligram e-liquid in the cartomizer. So let's look at the pros and cons of one of these. This is a Generation 2 device. When you look at it alongside a Generation 1 device, you can see that its similarity to a cigarette is non-existent. This looks nothing like a tobacco cigarette. The constituent parts remain very similar. You have a battery unit here, and in the business end, if you like, there is a heating element and there is a reservoir for the e-liquid, which is held behind this viewing window that we have. Where it differs is that this device is completely refillable. You can put in it any flavour of juice at any strength, and it also has replaceable coils. It's much more cost effective for the user. It's also quite likely to be much more effective in terms of the experience that it gives the user. In other words, it will produce more vapour, more flavour and a, just a more enjoyable experience. Let's look at the pros and cons of Generation 2 devices. And now to Generation 3 devices. Generation 3 devices, as you can see, are markedly different from both Generation 1 and Generation 2. While Generation 2 takes the prospect of a battery and a heating element and a, and a reservoir to a stage further on and removes the cigarette looky lady. Generation 3 takes the battery and reservoir a stage further. In this case, the battery is power controlled. So you can vary the settings in terms of watts to give you more or less heat at the heating coil, which is in the much larger reservoir. Again, going from this end, the reservoir is completely refillable. The coil assembly that heats the juice is completely replaceable and can be customised to the user's own preferences. In the battery section, this section here, we can alter the amount of power available to the coil to completely customise the experience for every user to the nth degree. So no matter what your preferences are, this Generation 3 device will give you the best possible experience for you because you can choose the flavour, the nicotine concentration, the amount of heat at the coil and to a large degree the shape and size of the unit. There are more and more third generation devices coming onto the market as days go by. They come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes and all sorts of different types to suit no matter what the user wants in terms of usability, looks, tactile feel and everything else. 
let's look at the pros and cons of third generation devices.